Shall we? Yeah, we're getting started. <laughs> now we start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, I am Rianne. And I am Hester. And together we are wet, wet leg. Leg. Oh. Did that on purpose? <laughs> no. You came from, from the Isle of Wight, the two of you, but you didn't live like close by or... Kind of opposite ends. Yeah, maybe like a 40 minute drive. We met at college many moons ago. We were both playing music solo or like in other bands, bumbling around, yeah. By the rivers that run and flatties. What's their intention of going on your own as an artist? No one wanted to be in a band with me. I was in a band, but then that band went and made a new band with all the same members, but not me. <laughs> it was a bit of a kick in the teeth. I was doing like the solo stuff and then I wanted to stop doing that because it just wasn't bringing me any joy at all. But I still had some shows booked. And so but I was like, I was just really scared. I built, I built up like such a great anxiety that I just didn't even want to play the shows that I had booked for the rest of the summer. Um, and then I plucked up the courage to ask Hester if she would play the shows with me. And you said yes. And then we had like a really good summer of just hanging out, playing festivals, absorbing loads of music together and we just had such a good time that we wanted to do a repeat of it the following summer but with like something different, we wanted to try something new, we wanted to both be playing electric guitar and, and yeah and that's when we made the pact to start a band called Wet Leg. I think we were probably both in the habit of taking up like a small space as possible. And so with Wet Leg, I think we wanted to take up more space, be louder, hold our anxiety and fears in front of us and acknowledge them, but then like swiftly move them to the side and just make music that like brought us joy. Tell us the, the story about Chess Launch, the, the first song of yours. That... Well, it all started when Rihanna asked to sleep over at my house for a night or two when you were down from London around Christmas time. Um, you ended up staying for like, like six weeks and you would sleep on the chaise long that's in my living room um, we just had such a fun time like watching loads of tv baking loads of cookies um, painting lots of pop rocks yeah mountains painting and the three of us being we and myself and joshua my boyfriend who also plays in wet egg we were just like <coughs> right write silly songs just be like oh let's see what we can make tonight and um, Chaise Long was one of those songs. On the Chaise Long, on the Chaise Long, on the Chaise Long, all day long, on the Chaise Long. And it was like particularly funny and silly. And we didn't really mean it to be a sh to be a wet leg <coughs> song initially, but um, it felt right, I think, because it was just like really joyful to us. And you, you made this fantastic video yeah, in Isle of Wight. Uh, we'd never made a music video before, but because we had this big expanse of time and space, we just sort of thought, like, why not? I have like a background in like costume. Um, and we put our 
My friends, we put Joshua in the boot of your sister's car. Yeah. And we made them shouted at them to <laughs> slow down. Slower, faster to get the one of the there's like a shop where we're walking because like obviously we can't afford like proper big cameras with like and rigs and yeah. Just shove your friend in the boot of a car. <laughs> and that's how you get that lovely smooth walking shot where the camera follows. It was still in lockdown that we that the, the first single came out that Shade Long came out. Um and it kind of wasn't really tangible at all until we went to Latitude Festival and we were thinking like, oh, okay, it's nice that we're going to this festival. I wonder if anyone's going to come to our, our gig. Um, yeah, and we played the gig and like people were there, the tent was full. And then when we got to playing shows long, like people were like really excited and like singing the words back at us. And it was just so strange. Yeah, it's really funny to think that so many people have connected with with this weird little song. We, we were using the band, I suppose, as like a distraction from really hard times for uh, everyone was experiencing, kind of a way to keep our head above the waves. And I think maybe that might might be resonating because such anxiety and uncertainty i think everybody needs like a respite where they can just like take a breath and feel some joy you say we're all having fun do you know you're the only one when the lights go down in this fucking town i know which time to go tell us about there's an album coming up, the very first one of yours. What kind of album is it? I think when we set out to realize Wet Leg and like what kind of music we might make, I think we just wanted to make music that would be like fun to play at festivals, would like be something that brought us joy to play. But then, on reflection, like looking at the album, although some of the songs are quite like, I think they're reaching at having like a good time, but then there's just like this undercurrent of despair and disenchantment um, that kind of weaves its way through. We are sad beans, <laughs> but we also like to have a nice time as much as we can. Um, there's like, yeah. Happy, sad, good and bad, it's all part of the circle of life. Don't know, we are, we are optimistically existential people and that's okay. <laughs> you, you deal with excess on the album, uh, for example on, on the second thing in Wet Dream. Mm. Exes, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I received like a few text messages saying, you know, oh, like, I had a dream about you, I dreamt we were happily married, and so I guess this was, this song was kind of a way of um, processing that. If someone comes and uh, they got your album, what song will be the, the best one to start with? What explains what Wet Leg is about the most? I don't know. I think it's hard because like, we don't really know. It's really exciting to make songs that like sound like their own thing and and you don't have to like carry that on into like 
anything else if we don't want to that it can just yeah it can be free and it can be fluid with like how we're feeling that day like when when the song's being written i um, think there are so many flavors mm, it's a flavor sensation <laughs> on the album but um, maybe in sentiment i'd say like she's long just because kind of like it always kind of comes back to that and this sense of like wanting to wanting to like do it for ourselves and wanting to to have have fun.